Some people view drama as excitement in a relationship, when really all it is is a big pain in the ass. And the reason for that is you spend more time trying to fix what happened and seeing if you're going to be with that person again than having a, a sort of reciprocated loving partnership with somebody. It's up and down continually. But some people get off on that. They like that sort of not knowing where they stand. You know, having that situation where they think that it's so thrilling to have this sort of scenario happening all the time. Personally, when I'm in a relationship, I like it when things flow. I don't want to sit there and be worried that something that was said the night before has caused us to maybe split up once again. Or where, am I, where do I stand with this person now? If you're having continual drama discussions and makeups and breakups and all that, maybe start looking at what's going on here. Are you maybe commitment phobic? You don't know how to be in a relationship? You have fear of being in a relationship? When you're playing these sort of dangerous games with somebody, it, there is something going on that's a little bit deeper than you're probably aware of. Because otherwise, why wouldn't you want something that flows? Why would you actually go out and look for something that has ups and downs on a continual you know, basis with, with what's going on in your life? Do you really want to have that all the time? Some people say yes. They like it that it's not boring, it's not routine, it's not mundane. Well, definitely it's none of those things. But there's a lot of crap that goes on inside your head, your heart, everything, when you have to keep dealing with this sort of stuff. So if you're seeing a pattern here in your relationships, if you look back at your past and realize that almost every one of them has some kind of drama related incidents going on back and forth all the time, there is something that you need to find out what's, what's happening within you. Because you're searching out these people, you're attracting them towards you because something in this type of scenario intrigues you or is familiar to you. And that's probably the biggest one, is it's familiar because of something you've seen in your past, maybe from your childhood, maybe from maybe the first relationship you ever had, had all these ups and downs and it's a familiar thing to you. So it keeps you coming back for it because you miss that person. So you look for similar things. But trust me when I tell you that back and forth, ups and downs, in and outs, makeups and breakups are not a healthy relationship. Don't think that it's exciting and that, oh, you got the bad boy or the bad girl and this is a fun place to put yourself. Because it might be fun for a couple of weeks, but in the end, it's very hurtful. It's very hurtful to have to keep going back and forth with whether somebody wants to be with you or not. It takes a big toll on your self-esteem and it's damaging. So if you find yourself in these situations, and I'm talking to people of all ages, this isn't something that just happens when you're a millennial or Gen X, or it happens right up until you're, you know, in your 60s sometimes, because you've repeated a pattern for so long, you just don't know how to get out of it. Take the time to learn how to meet somebody of substance and somebody that you're on the same page with. Not somebody that wants to bring you up, throw you down, all these kind of things that happen in, in these tumultuous relationships. It's really not worth that. So if you find yourself stuck in these drama situations, find out what is going on and where this, where this is stemming from. What's causing you to, to keep going back to this same pattern? Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please check out my blog at cybersue.com, my Facebook page at Dear Cyber Sue, and everything else out there that I'm on social media. Thanks for subscribing to my channel and for liking the video and commenting below. Take care. Bye-bye.